Kia ora. Taking a look at the satellite charts across New Zealand to start the week. There's plenty of clear sky, plenty of sunshine for the likes of, say, Canterbury and up in towards Wellington as well. Now, as we go through the rest of the day, there's plenty of fine weather, but we have a few things to watch out for. Down south, you can see that wet weather pushing in towards the likes of Fjordland, and we are going to find these fronts moving northwards as we head through the rest of uh, the night time and in towards uh, Tuesday. And also, these winds turning more southerly and rather a blustery looking at Tuesday for the likes of, say, that western side of the country. As we head through the nighttime tonight, you can see this front continues to move northwards up that western coast of the South Island. Generally a drier story across the North Island through the nighttime tonight. But I think we are going to find these uh, cooler southwesterly winds that are pushing it back across the country over the next uh, few days. In terms of our nighttime temperatures tonight, back down to lows of around about 7 degrees Celsius for Queenstown, but many spots staying in double figures across the North Island into the early hours of Tuesday morning. Through Tuesday, a rather a blustery southwesterly with us across the country, especially up through Northland and Auckland. And we are going to find some wetter weather making its way on towards that eastern coast of the South Island, reaching towards the likes of Wellington during the afternoon, and then further northwards towards parts of Hawke's Bay and Gisborne by the time we head through towards the evening. So there are a few things to watch out for, but really, on that western coast, the thing we'll really notice will be that wind, a strong southwesterly pushing through towards Auckland, bringing some cloud, and perhaps a chance of an odd shower later on. We'll also find some showers down through Taranaki and down towards the likes of, say, uh, the Manawatu area. As we head through the afternoon, we'll find rain moves in towards Wellington, but a fine start today for us. But then that rain moves northwards, there are some showers up in towards the likes of, say, Hawke's Bay, and perhaps one or two heavy thundery ones out towards the likes of, say, the Wairau district. But elsewhere, you can see there's plenty of dry weather. Any showers on that western coast will be fairly isolated. And even in places like, say, Coromandel and the Bear Plenty. A fine looking day for you. And I think we are going to find temperatures climbing up to around about 22 degrees Celsius there. The warmest spots though will be on that eastern coast, 23 and 24 degrees Celsius for the Tyrafti and down towards Hawke's Bay. For the South Island, we start off with that wet weather on the western coast. Out east, a few clearer skies, but that cloud pushing through pretty quickly and some showers reforming through the likes of, say, Canterbury, especially those northern parts as we head through the morning time. They'll clear off in the afternoon and uh, some clear slots back with us for the evening, but I think just watching out for a few showers there. We'll also keep hold of some pretty strong southwesterly winds around that far southeastern corner of the country, so down around Clutha and uh, Otago, and they'll bring showers with them as well. And with that cooler air, we will find even the return of some snowfall above about 700 metres, so really quite high up but enough to go with perhaps a dust in the snow of some of the higher parts of uh, the central Otago as we head in towards the afternoon on Tuesday. But generally, I think we are looking at some drier weather as we head through in towards, uh, say, Wednesday and Thursday. The influence of those southwesterly winds, though, will be felt in our temperatures. Look at these highs in Invercargill. 12 degrees Celsius, our top temperature through the daytime. 14 in Dunedin and not much better up towards Christchurch, 16 degrees Celsius. Now the good news is as we head through this week, we'll start to find those temperatures climbing and we are going to find some more settled weather later on. But for Wednesday, you can see we're still stuck in that southwesterly feed of air. So even for places like Dargaville, your top temperatures could be around about 17 degrees Celsius, so feeling cooler as well in that southwesterly wind. The showers fading away a fair bit as we head towards the end of the day and this high pressure you can see across the uh, Tasman Sea. As that builds across us on Thursday, we'll find an improvement in our weather. We'll still keep hold of more cloud around those western coasts, but things should become a lot drier and also a little bit warmer as we head through the daytime. Thursday looking like the pick of the week for many spots as we head through the daytime. And then down towards the far south, you can see that next front comes back towards us on a Friday. More northwesterlies ahead of it, so we'll find our temperatures climbing back to around about 28 or so around the eastern coast on a Friday. But we are going to find more wet weather back on towards that western coast towards the end of the week. While on the North Island, high pressure holds firm as we head in towards Friday as well. Now, of course, as we go through towards summer, dry conditions, especially around those eastern parts of the country, will mean 
the chance of some high levels of danger for the fire risk. So do keep a very close eye on the conditions where you are. Don't forget, you can always find out the latest conditions on uh, where you are across New Zealand by heading across to checkitsallright.nz for all the latest information about the fire danger. But do watch out, especially for those days as we head through towards, say, Thursday and Friday, drier conditions, higher temperatures, and those winds picking back up again, all spend just an extra bit of risk as we head through this week. And that's it from me. There's more at metservice.com.